1,000 years before Descartes' evil demon, a similar idea was put forth in ancient Greece by Plato. He describes, like, imagine the situation. Uh, there are figures, they're chained inside of a cave from birth. They have no experience of what's outside of it. They're looking at a wall, and on the wall they kind of see this projection. Do you see men passing along the wall, carrying all sorts of articles which they hold projected above the wall? Statues of men and animals made of wood and stone and various materials? Of the objects which are being carried in like manner, they would only see the shadows. Emily Pottest wrote about this parable's relevance to both simulation theory and other aspects of digital communications and miscommunications. It's a very cinematic metaphor, and I just love that, how, you know, that sort of imagination of how film affects us. And just like there's like that lossiness between what is really happening and what perception shows us, there's sort of lossiness between what media shows us and what the real world outside of that media representation is. So now, it's not just what their senses decide to show them, it's what the media decides to show them. And this, this is, is extremely, extremely dangerous to our democracy. democracy. Let's go back to, to Hindu myths. You find these incredible myths of like, you know, the king's going along and stops for a well and he drinks and then he goes and he has a whole other existence, a whole other life. And then pop, he comes back in and, and they'll even go have worlds within worlds within worlds. So you have this structure of worlds within worlds. And once you have that, you, it undermines the, the primary world. It really kind of crystallized for me when I when I started observing the experience of the villager in Minecraft. 